Hey guys, today is Libertad Day, and I'm kind of overdue on this uh, on this set. You know, the, uh, I wanted to do a video, but I haven't gotten around to it. And I just got these coins earlier in the week. Uh, this is the Libertad uh, reverse proof set. Um, as most of you know, um, I'll tell you that it comes in a uh, box like this, and this is the outer sleeve. You know that goes around. Uh, the case which I'll show you now here it is it has a metal flap over case you know just kind of opens and closes here and they put that Atmex logo here which I don't know I think it's better, better without the Atmex just Banco de Mexico in the middle would be good and they put like this little styrofoam in here just in case the coins don't pop out so um, I was one of the lucky few uh, who was able to get this at issue price and uh, I have more uh, Which I need to send to my buddies who asked me to get it because they were you know away from the desk or whatever, whatever they couldn't order online and I happened to be there so um, Yeah uh, This is the reverse proof uh, Libertad uh, first issue ever so 2015 will go down as the first year and who knows how many they'll make uh, in the years to come and then they pair it up with a regular proof um, as most of you know what these are uh, there's plenty of these from many years ago and still like this is a really really nice looking coin I like it when the proof part of the uh, surface is totally black so it gives that nice contrast between the artwork on the silver here right but that black you see is just a reflection of my camera okay and then the back of the coin um, yeah it's got the the eagle and the snake all right so that's that that's the proof I'll show you the back of this one uh, the OM symbol yeah, that sounds, that's basically from Mexico. M is the first letter and O is the last letter in Mexico. So Mexican Mint. That's where it was made and um, the reverse proof coin is here. Uh, look at that. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of these designs around the eagle. Very cool. So there's a lot of uh, things to be discussed about uh, the way this coin was released it was totally caught you know caught by surprise um, and the low mintage again this is a dealer exclusive so is that good for the customers uh, obviously not um, only for those who get it you know early and what Atmex did was started to uh, raise the prices as more and more people start ordering these. It started out from 199.99 and went all the way up to 500. And you won't believe what we're seeing now, which I will attach to the end of this video. Um, there's all kinds of different uh, uh, COA numbers and um, uh, you know that pricing it based on the value of the serial num uh, the COA numbers and obviously the number one you're gonna see it's very very expensive okay so one of the issues that uh, people were talking about regarding these that are graded um, Atmex released a NGC pairing of these coins uh, PL70 meaning proof like uh, and we weren't sure whether the rim you know if you check the rim uh, on the pictures on their site it looked like there was a lot of dings and on this one I don't see well maybe there's a few it's hard to see but you know there might be a few imperfections here and there but from what I can see here so far it looks pretty good um, so you know let's just say that the dings on the rim or whatever imperfections on the rim here does that you know uh, nullify a 70 you know like if there's imperfections it should not be a 70 right so a lot of people are discussing that um, 
when it when it was coming out. Okay, so uh, I'll show you this again. Really interesting, you know. It's the first one and all. And then what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna uh, cut this uh, video here and I'm gonna uh, show you a screen of uh, what Atmex has on their site. Okay. All right, so I'm on the uh, Atmex webpage and I typed reverse proof Libertads and there's a whole bunch of them here and I'll go over them with you one by one. But basically, um, in the beginning, we only had the regular set, which is right here. And then uh, right now there's 39 left. And then uh, PCGS, obviously they sent these some of these coins in for grading and um, a bunch of them came back in 70s for both NGC and PCGS and uh, let me share with you the uh, population numbers for 70s and stuff like that from both uh, PCGS and NGC before we go on any further okay alright so the first uh, uh, grading company will go with uh, PCGS um, this is the first strike uh, uh, label for the reverse proof Libertad um, you get four, you get 42 and they have this as PL instead of PF because it's a uh, reverse proof it's not exactly proof so they call it proof like so it's proof like 70 and you got 42 of them uh, you know out of 500 so that's that's a pretty high number for a low mintage coin they're saying that these coins are struck so well that a lot of them are going to grade 70 here. Okay, uh, so let's go to um, piece, uh, NGC now. All right, so NGC uh, has their early release label uh, graded at 70. You get 37 of them, so about the same amount. Some of them, there's five less over here, but um, PCGS tends to get a little bit more uh, premium compared to NGC when it comes to modern coins so uh, I'm going to show you a little later that uh, you see the price difference not by much but um, yeah this this again uh, 37 of these graded 70 and one of the things that you know usually is the case is like the 69s are more and the 70s are less that's the way it's supposed to be but when you look at the pop report uh, you see that there's 3770s but only 869s you know and I remember Wafdog was complaining that uh, you know why is it that when dealers grade coins they get a lot of 70s and very little 69s but when customers grade coins it's the other way around huh it makes sense uh, you, you guys figure that out alright look what we have here is the same uh, breakdown of the uh, PCGS reports uh, you got 70, 42 69 there's only three usually it's the other way around where if there's only three seventies those three get really really you know high value so it seems to be the case that when dealers grade them they just you know uh, there's just more seventies okay I'm not saying I'm not saying anything just you guys think about that okay so let's go back and take a look at the pricing structure for these uh, first strike number one COA. Uh, this is PCGS. Is twenty five hundred dollars. Yikes! All right, and then you have the regular set is at five hundred. Still, there's thirty nine left. All right, and then you have your NGC, which is still at thirteen hundred. Right, and then you have your regular. Uh, they they have obviously forty two of these. So um, if you want. The first strike, uh, here it is, fourteen hundred bucks. Only a hundred dollars more than the NGC. But now, if you keep looking down, guess what? Atmex did. They started breaking down the uh, the sets with COA numbers, where they had obviously number one to number ten. So they want to make more money with it. So number ten, you're gonna have to pay ten dollars extra. Uh, you get COA number 10 if you pay 510 and then for number 9 is 520 uh, number 8 is 530 and then number 7 is 540 so uh, as you can see they, they the Atmex is thinking that the lower the COA the higher the value but I don't know maybe I think you know some people would prefer 7 or 8 
7 is a lucky number in the Western world, and 8 is a lucky number in the uh, Asian world, right? Lucky 8 in the Chinese uh, culture, okay? And it keeps going higher and higher, number 6, number 5, you know, $600, 650 for number 4, number 3 is 750 number 2 is 850 So they're trying to put a ton of value on COA numbers, um, you know, the early ones. For whatever reason, it, it's the same coins. It's just the COA number. You're putting value on the COA number. Um, the government also used, you know, they they've been doing this for a long time. Uh, they would uh, uh, really jack up the prices on the number ones through ten, things like that. So, yeah, this is a new territory for more uh, uh, dealers to do this kind of stuff. So, you know, we got to play ball with these guys, right? Um, so what do you guys think about all this? You know, just let me know. Uh, uh, comment down below, and uh, we'll have a pretty good discussion about this. All right, thanks for watching, guys.